Hey Health Heroes, welcome back to Adam Immune, the channel about helping you improve your autoimmune health naturally. And today I want to talk about how a Spoonie's life changes after remission. Like, how has my life changed after finding remission from my autoimmune diseases? And, uh, I don't know, this is really hard to talk about because, um, I have some real underlying, like, issues thinking about it. Like, it's, it's, God, this sounds bad, but it, it's sort of traumatic, honestly. Like, I, I had, you know, the third worst chronic disease or the most painful chronic disease that existed. And uh, I, I don't like to think about it. I don't even like to remember it, you know, how, how bad it was. Um, I spent a lot of time alone and just doing uh, things on my own, laying in bed, because it was, it was too painful to walk most of the time. So um, I kind of had to learn to just kind of uh, live in my head and and just make things work, you know, the best I could. And uh, yeah, I, I tried to work throughout it. I was really close to going on disability, honestly. Um, but uh, I found AIP, the miracle of AIP plus keto, and I got into remission, so here we are. So yeah, I, my biggest fear today is that I will revert back into my disease. Like, like this protocol that I'm on right now, my lifestyle, my health, my diet, will all just kind of like, uh, evaporate and I'll I'll go back into the into the life like I was in my before time and um, I really uh, I don't think that's gonna happen but you know it, it's there in the back of my mind like w what if right and I know we're not supposed to worry about things especially things out of our control and and things that will probably never happen it's like yeah. <laughs> Somebody told me once, like, has worrying about something ever helped you, like, even once? And, you know, I, I thought about it, I'm like, no, never. So, I probably shouldn't worry about those kind of things. But, like, this is the most valuable thing to me, my remission. And I, I would honestly, like, I would do anything to stay in remission, anything at all. So, uh, how has my life changed after remission? Well, it's awesome. Uh, I'm not in pain constantly. Like, I thought it was normal for people to be in pain, like 24-7. Like, just achy joints, digestive issues, brain fog, confusion. Just, uh, so many issues I can't even describe. And so many embarrassing things that I don't even want to talk about. I'll, maybe if I, uh, maybe if I, if I get braver, maybe I'll talk about them. I had, I had a lot of issues, like all all the digestive issues throughout the whole system, okay? And it's it's not something I like to think about, like I said, but it was there and, and life is, it's hard to put into words how amazing it is now. Like, it's not like my life is amazing, I don't like travel and eat these amazing foods and meet these extraordinary people, it, not like that. It's like, I just feel good, right? Like my mental... Clarity is good. I feel stronger. Like my body isn't crying out all the time to just put me down. You know, it, it's it's hard to say. It's like I was miserable before, and now I'm not. Basically, my life is different now uh, because well, you know what a spoonie is. Like a spoon is like you have so many spoons to use. If this is a chronic disease term. Hopefully, you guys know where or you're following me. You've heard of this. You have so many spoons to use in a day, and then once you're out, you're out. Like you just you can't stress about things out of your control. You can't you can't do things. You can't push yourself beyond your boundaries. You can't. Sometimes you can't help other people because you know you have to take care of yourself. Otherwise, you're going to be bedridden for a month or a week or whatever. You're going to be in the hospital, and we all have to address our boundaries, our limitations. We have to understand ourselves and that's part of being in tune with our body and just understanding that we're not like everybody else. We have limitations and that's really hard, especially when you're younger. You, growing up like this, I mean, I had my main autoimmune disease since I was 13. I had digestive issues way before that though. Um, but yeah, it, it was hard growing up knowing that I wasn't able to do things that other people were able to do. And now I'm starting to be able to do that again. My body is getting stronger. I, I have less inflammation. Even when I exercise, I notice I'm able to do more now. Um, I'm even, I've been able to reintroduce a couple foods, not, not crazy, not anything crazy or anything. Um, but yeah, so life is different now because I have more spoons. I'm able to undertake more stress without having an autoimmune flare, a disease, uh, a trigger. And I think that's really amazing. Uh, and I think that just goes to show that this autoimmune protocol plus the keto, this whole natural living lifestyle, it really can heal you. Um, and it is a slow process and something we have to be strict with because even one little setback, one little trigger food, one little piece of paprika would set me back for weeks, maybe months. So 
it, it was all about in the beginning finding my trigger foods, eliminating the, those, staying strict, and then adding foods that like really nutrient dense foods and foods that would heal my gut lining and my my overall add to my gut microbiome, my good gut health, and that is really. I'm in a good place and you know even mentally like it's been great for my brain I, I'm doing well and I've lost 150 pounds and of course that plays into that um, I'm able to like look in the mirror and not uh, I know this is gonna sound terrible but like I is and I don't care about appearance at all but it's nice looking in the mirror not thinking you're a monster and 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 I really did before like and it, it wasn't just like my my weight okay it wasn't it wasn't all my weight okay and I don't think that of other people but I think a lot of people do think that of themselves and and it's really sad because I mean that's just like our our image of ourselves can be so negative and that plays into a stressor as well but now I look in the mirror and I'm like eh, it is what it is it doesn't get any better than this or maybe it does um, I'm ex I have an exercise regimen now so we'll see what where that goes but honestly I'm fine with this like um, it, it, I don't, I didn't want to feel like, <sighs> I just wanted to look normal. That was, that was kind of my main thing. And like, people don't like stare at me anymore on the street or, I mean, it, that was honestly, that was probably mostly me. That was, that was probably like something that was going on inside my head. I was super, uh, anxious. I had like a social anxiety. I still have some, but it's it's a lot better. And I do have the other kind of anxiety, like the, the ones you can't control as much, but I do have like different versions of it. You guys know what I'm talking about. Hopefully you do. Otherwise, <laughs> it's getting super weird. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, yeah, hopefully this was helpful to you. I, I just wanted to put that out there that life doesn't have to suck so bad. Um, for everyone, I'm not saying this even works for everyone, um, but it's all a matter of, it's just one area where you can lower inflammation. Of course, you have to address everything else in life, and there are in tons of environmental triggers as well. So you have to address them one by one and eliminate them one by one and lower your systemic inflammation, and hopefully, uh, with time, you're able to find remission like I did. It took me a lot of time, and uh, consistency is key, so hopefully you can get there. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you next time.